Welcome back to Mario Sports Mix. I did it! Me, 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 me. I don't know if that picked up on the mic, but Cameron was uh going along to the background music. It's a monologue, actually. Yeah, monologue. Mono inner monologue. Inner monologue. It was a slam poetry. Do I need to snap for you? Yeah. Oh, dark forest in my brain. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It sounded like you were about to drop the hottest mixtape of, uh, of December. Yeah. When this episode's recording. <laughs> it's easy. All you gotta do is think of, like, what you want to eat. So I wanted to eat Black Forest ham. In my brain. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we, we don't know what we're saying. Is Black Forest a cake? Is that a thing? I, I don't... No. 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 no, you know what that is? I think it's the, uh, like, those, uh, like, gummy worms and gummy bear shit. No, well, that, that's a company, but... Black Forest, yeah. But no, 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 there's... Black Forest ham is something else. Okay. You, I... you can get Black Forest ham at, like, Subway. Okay. Plug to Subway, by the way. Uh, you can get fifty percent off to use the word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it WD Games. Uh, yeah, fifty percent off. You say, "Hey, I'm I'm with WD Games." Uh, got replaced when Jared went out. You know, Jared. You you know Jared from Subway. Did you ever hear about that? No. Okay, so do you know who Jared from Subway is? No. Have you, okay, so Jared basically was like. He's this guy who used to be 600 pounds, right? Like, you know, super, oh, super big guy. Oh, I do know. I'm going to tell the story anyway. Okay. Right? And then he, uh, basically he ate, like, a, a diet of mainly Subway is what they say. You know, he probably ate just healthy. But, like, he ate a diet of Subway, and then, so Subway sponsored him, and he was in a whole bunch of commercials, right? Well, uh, what ended up happening was, uh, he was in all these commercials for, like, I don't know, maybe five years, three years, you know, a pretty long time. Okay. Well... This year, they discovered that he's a child molester. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's not going to work. That's not going to fly. So, yeah, so now he's in, like, jail, and he, like, isn't sponsored anymore. I don't know the whole story of why he's a child molester, of who it was, or anything like that. I, I just don't know. I just know that he was, and they don't sponsor him anymore, and you're his new replacement. So, 50% uh, off if you use the word uh, WD Games, actually. It's, we're, we're not sponsored. No, we're not. Please... <laughs> Please do that, but we're not sponsored. If you do, uh, report. Po po post, post, a post, that. post a video and like just make sure I know about it because that would I would die laughing. Yeah. If I we, we would it. post it if you if I ever it. saw that. Oh, we can get it. Oh, the awesome. It's got to be a it's got to be a cool dunk okay. though. Awesome! Nice. That was my attempt at. Yeah. <laughs> at life. That, that was just. I was there. Black Forest hand in my brain. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Going in. Uh, got that black <laughs> forest ham. Uh, two chains. Two chains. <laughs> got my three chains on. Got my black forest ham. Can I go make me a sandwich with a chain? Uh. Uh. Yeah. I'm a white guy. Uh. Keep the beat going. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, get some banjo in there. I'm spitting everywhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> spitting rhymes, that is. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I got it. No, keep going. Just keep hitting. Oh, yes! <laughs> uh, oh, what oh. a beast. That was, that was impressive, actually. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting too excited. I gotta take off my jacket. Y you can take this next point. I'll just stand still. I got this. Oh no! I tried to get fancy. Oh, it's okay, I got this. Oh no! Yeah! I took the hit. Sacrifice the body for the team. Ooh. So you said you had a story. Oh yeah, okay. So, uh, so I took biology also this last semester, right? Yeah. And we had to give a disease report, okay? 
And the disease had to pertain to yourself, you know. It had to be a disease within the family or a disease that you have. And so, uh, everyone did, like, a pretty normal disease. People did, like, you know, Parkinson's or, like, something pretty rare that's in, like, families. Cancer was a big one, too. Like, pretty, you know, diseases you usually hear about, okay? And so there was this black chick, okay? I, I mean, and I was like, she was black, but she was big, okay? We're, like, we're not being racist. No, but she was, like, this big chick, okay? Comes up to the, the stand, and she's like... Hi, my name is Destiny, and I got diabetes. <laughs> and I don't know how that class stayed silent. It was the funniest thing I ever heard. And, and, oh no, what's going on? I'm not sure. It started spinning. But anyways, so uh, then you had to say, like, why, why are you doing this disease? Like, why is it in your family? And then she was like, well, my mama says she got diabetes because she had me. Because you get diabetes when you um, when you have kids. That's like an actual thing. Really? Yeah, that is an actual thing, which I didn't know about until I took Well, I mean, like, I understand, like, maybe from cravings and stuff, but... Yeah, from, like, eating a lot and, like, needing double nutrition. Like, it's, uh, it's... Yeah. Yeah. But, like, um, and she's like, and then she's like, I got diabetes because I ate too much. <laughs> I just died at that point. And then, uh, at some point during it, I remember, like, this was one of my favorite parts. She was like, now, my mama got diabetes, my daddy got diabetes, and I got diabetes. <laughs> oh. Man, I love Wichita is best for those reasons. Because you get, you get those types. Which, so... I, so I went to Wichita for over the uh, some break spr- spring, spring break, break spring break last year spring break fourteen spring break it's fifteen but I think um to just yeah visit you and company um but what was it it's like you said you wanted to go there because like everybody has a different personality and stuff, oh yeah right? you get people from everywhere. Yeah, and just from hanging out with, like, you and your friends, like, that's definitely what I got. Like, everybody was just so different, but mm-hmm. it worked. Yeah, we have a surprising amount of international students. Which I wouldn't expect from a school in the middle of the country. Yeah, especially from, okay, if you think, like, all right, I want you to put a map on the screen, okay? A map of the U.S. Future Eric, map on screen. Okay, now. there's a map of the U.S. on the screen, okay? Now, there's a thing called the Bible Belt. You know what that is? It's I'll, like fi- this... I'll figure it out okay. and edit it in post. So the Bible Belt is like a... It's like a belt of the South, okay? Uh, okay. And it's basically like... Basically, like Southern states are super Christian, right? So yeah. you have the Bible Belt. Like, stereotypically. Well, Kansas is the buckle of that Bible Belt. Like, you get some uh, very, very, like, Southern... I was there. People. Look at that ass. <laughs> yeah, you get very, very Southern people. You get, like, a lot of, like, heavy Christians. But then you get all these, um, like international students from coming from because of uh, aerospace engineering and all these like uh, majors and because of the college and everything so it's really interesting to see people interact and it's actually like, people interact very well it's really interesting do they understand their kind of vernacular uh, they don't understand uh, Arabic if that's what you're asking or vernacular if that's <laughs> whatever that means whatever right? that means but like what do you think we speak English <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, they, they kind of understand where people come from. If that's, what's vernacular mean? Just tell me. It, it's, uh, like, different ways of speaking. Oh, I, I can't understand half my teachers, but... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's either the way of speaking or the kind of words you say. You're going to have to put a definition of vernacular yes. on the screen. Eric, put a... Yes. Yes. You know what I just realized? This whole time we've been, uh, we've been against the DK brothers. Oh, How did we yeah. not notice that? I don't know. I think I made a mental note of it, I think, in the beginning. This game's really good at that. But, yeah. But, I, yeah, I never, you know, mentioned it or whatever. What we would always do is we would, um, we would play... It's we, like matchups. Yeah, we, we would go against, uh, like, people that we'd either, say, go against the Mario Bros, the, uh... Peach and Daisy sisters. Um, Are they, they sisters? Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah, I think so. I think. Why do they compete for the same man? I guess sisters you do that. I thought one. Well, I mean. 
I, the, I think the initial <laughs> intent was like one goes for Mario, one goes for Luigi. And then Eiffel Tower. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then Bowser just comes in and is like, what's up, ladies? <laughs> Destroy the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, if you know about current events, you should know that that's nothing to laugh at. No, too soon. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. That, Don't laugh about Eiffel yeah. Tower or Donald Trump. Too soon. Laugh at Donald Trump. Okay, still, but... everyone laugh at him, please. I mean, he looks like a potato with a wig. Like Mr. Potato Head. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, thanks for watching that episode. We're going to see you in the next one.